Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you all and welcome to the channel. In this video we will cover a rather important topic known as optional. And I, f I apologize if this took longer than expected. I completely forgot about it to be quite honest. I need to write the different topics I have planned for this course so I do not forget. But optionals are incredibly important. But before we begin, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ashraf al-anbiya wal-mursaleen, Sayyiduna Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa man tabi'ahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen. Warda Allahumma anna ma'ahum ajma'een, Allahumma ameen. <coughs> اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد We begin in the name of Allah the most merciful in this life and in the hereafter We thank him for all of his blessings that he has bestowed upon us for they are innumerable and we pray that we follow in the footsteps of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his fellow companions. Amen. We also ask for prayers and blessings to be bestowed upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his followers, as they were bestowed upon Prophet Ibrahim, peace be upon him, and his followers. Here I am using a custom class that I have not created called Student. And... I am passing in the object here to the, the print statement to print it. So basically we are accessing the to string method. However, this will obviously crash the program because this object is null. How do we know that it is null? It does not have the new keyword. <clears throat> Once we see the new keyword, we know that this has been allocated space in memory. If we do not see the new keyword, then it does not have space in memory. What will this trigger in your mind? Think about it while I write the code here. <clears throat> did not give me the point that I want. Okay, how about this? This is the issue with... <laughs> this is the issue with the string class. It is too robust. Okay, perhaps I can create the student class quickly. So if you are still thinking, continue thinking. One, one. Oh, for goodness sake, man. Okay. How about name? Let us generate the constructor. And let us generate cutters as setters. <coughs> okay. Uh, ah, finally. This <coughs> crashes the program because of the null pointer exception. Why? Because this does not have space in memory, thus we cannot use the object for any method invocation. Obviously, this damage is intentional and purposeful. But what if it is unintentional? Sometimes when you are coding, especially if you are creating a full stack application, let us say, for example, you are designing a website, that will accept user input for a particular parameter. For example, let us say you ask the user to enter his name. 
on a website. The user enters the name, then clicks Submit. Your back end will handle that submit request, and do not worry, I will dedicate two playlists for full stack developmental course, one for the front end and the other for the back end. And we will see how we can accept that request from the user and handle that accordingly. If the user does not enter anything and click submit, if and if your back end framework or your back end logic or your business code as it is called is cannot handle or foresee that issue, it will crash your program because your logic is expecting an actual name but if it receives nothing and you use that nothing in an operation it will crash your program because of the null pointer exception this is the purpose of the optional class type and i say class type because it is not necessarily a class we can see here Okay, perhaps if I use this, I can access it. It is a class. I thought it was an interface for a moment. <laughs> but as you can see, it is a class. Okay. So that is the purpose of the optional class. To circumvent possible null values. If you are familiar with JavaScript, the optional class substitutes the question mark in JavaScript. For those who are unfamiliar, though we will cover that in the JavaScript portion, the question mark associated with an instance variable indicates that it could be null at some point. But in JavaScript, it is much easier than Java, though I prefer the approach taken in Java because it is organized as opposed to JavaScript and other programming languages such as C++ where everything is hubbly bubbly. In Java everything is organized. Sometimes it becomes cumbersome because of the organization but I prefer that over the hubbly bubbly approach. So that is the purpose of the optional class. The optional class, class wraps around a data type or another class and then informs the JVM that there is a possibility that this object could be null. It is optional. It is not mandatory. It is not required. It is not obligatory. That is when we use the optional class. If, however, you are completely certain that your input will always have a value, you do not need to use the optional, inter, uh, optional class. However, when dealing with user input, you should always factor in this issue that the user may enter the incorrect type, input type, or the user may ignore the input altogether. That is why in these circumstances or these scenarios, the input or the value you will receive may be null and thus could become optional. Here it is not optional, it is mandatory. But if I wrap this with the optional class, then the JVM knows that if this is an optional type, it could be null, and if it is null, how can we handle it? We can handle it safely without crashing the program. We can use the try-catch block, obviously. However, optionals avoid the restrictions and the cumbersome approach of a try-catch block, especially with a null pointer exception. With an optional, you do not need to resort to the try-catch block. 
when you can handle everything with the optional. We will not cover or delve into the optional class in this lecture. This is a merely this is merely an introductory lecture. But the inauguration will be in the optional sub-series Allah and God willing. We will cover how to use optionals and how to handle any possible null values that the optional class receives. I hope this lecture was helpful and beneficial to you all. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. Be safe, take care, and peace be upon you all. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayt ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad <coughs> كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد